This is Ben Walker, the Executive Creative Director at Crispin Porter and Puguski in London. Hi Ben. Hi yeah. Um, can you give us a quick summary of your career to date? <coughs> uh, I started off with my partner Matt Gooden um, 20 odd years ago at Leo Burnett where we partied hard. Uh, <laughs> was that your first job from uni, straight out of uni? Well, it wasn't uni, it was... Um, College? Hounslow. Okay. <laughs> Hounslow College, straight out of HND, Hounslow. which I think we failed. We didn't fail it, but we got the lowest possible pass, um, which is embarrassing, but there you go. And spent six years there and moved to a place called Simon's Palmer, which shows my age, <laughs> which was a br really brilliant place. Um, creative place in Knoll Street and then that kind of uh, eventually turned into TBWA after lots and lots of different um, mergers and what have you and um, we had a great time there working with um, uh, Trevor Beatty uh, and then we moved off to Wyden and Kennedy <coughs> we spent a good nine years there uh, working with Tony and Kim that was great fun and what would you say your biggest achievements were there oh um, we work, Honda was fantastic to work on, we did a lot of work on Honda. Um, we also ran the Nokia account worldwide, which was a you know, massive thing, I enjoyed that thoroughly. And we always remind people that we took Lurpak to the number one BSM, uh, which is butter spread or margarine, <laughs> overtook Flora for the first time ever. And that was a lovely thing to work on as well. But um, yeah, we, we did a lot of stuff there. That was, it's a great place. You know, Widens is a great place. To and after Widens, after Widens, uh, we went to BNB, became um, uh, partners at BNB, and spent a year and a half there. Back working with Trevor. Yeah, yeah. Can't keep away from him for too long. He's a good guy. They're all good guys over there. And. Um, uh, spent a lot of time doing, um, you know, uh, agency structural type things, a um, couple of nice bits of work, ING that's out at the moment was a really nice thing. Uh, but then we got the call from, from uh, Crispins to set up in London and I think that's something that we really, uh, it was probably the only thing that could have dragged us away from, from BNB actually. So. How long has uh, Crispin been in London now for? Well, I mean, it's been here servicing its uh, ex-client Burger King for a while, but it, it was kind of a satellite office and it fully opened its doors as a fully-fledged agency about three months ago. Okay. Um, can you describe the creative industry in three words? Blimey. Uh, the creative industry. What, the advertising creative industry in three words? Um, Uh, can I describe the industry in three words? Well, at the moment, I'd say a, li a little jaded, maybe. <laughs> um, okay. uh, worried. Um, but bags of potential. So jaded, worried, potential. Doesn't okay. make in, sense, in does it? <laughs> so who inspires you? Maybe creatively, maybe in this industry, maybe outside the industry. Oh. Where do you get your inspirations from? Well, um, I watched... Inglorious Bastards for the first time the other day and thought it was fantastic. Good so point. I would imagine that um, Tarantino inspires me. That's a bloody terrible answer, isn't it? <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, it was great. I watched that and, you know, I know this is a cliche, but I just got drawn in by the dialogue massively and it just made me think, wow, I want to write, want to write more like that. So that's the first thing that springs to mind. And do you come from more of a copy or an art background? Yeah, I'm supposed to be a copywriter, but um, Matt writes most of the copy, <laughs> and he's an art director. No, I like writing. Yeah, I do, I do enjoy writing. I, I try and do it, keep my eye in every now and again. What do you look for in good creatives? <clears throat> uh, enthusiasm, definitely. I think enthusiasm can trump everything. Uh, and then after that, um, people that aren't uh, afraid to do something completely different, even if it's wrong, frankly. I think um, people that... Uh, yeah, I want to break, break a few rules. Okay. Confidence is massively key to that. Confident people. Yeah. Who is the most creative person you've ever worked with? Bloody hell. Tony Davidson's quite barking mad. Yeah. 
I'm lucky. I've worked with loads and loads of creative people. Great Matt's people. a wonderfully creative person. And, um, uh, yeah, sort of. When you said that, like Tony's, like, Tony's like a mad inventor. You know, he's like one of those bonkers inventors with the hair going everywhere and f sparking off ideas all over the place. I'll say him. <laughs> okay. What's the best brand you've ever worked on? Well, I'm lucky I've worked on quite a few nice brands. Um, you might have a top five or you might have one that really stands out over your career. Well, I loved uh, working on Lurpak because uh, I love food, I love cooking and, <clears throat> you know, the campaign that, uh, that we uh, the campaign that we did when we bought Lurpak to Widens was all about food rather than just butter. So that was what, a really lovely thing for me to work on personally. And I think Lurpak as a brand is a brilliant brand. We've always had it in our fridge. It's the silver wrapping. It's you know got all that gravitas to it. It's very stylish. It's got loads of great cues. Uh, Honda is an amazing company. Um, I'm still, I still, I still drive a Honda FRV now. <laughs> three seats in the front. Three seats in the back. Everyone. <laughs> um, uh, amazing brand. I mean, the stories, you know, the stories, there's so many stories to tell about uh, that company and the people that founded it and the people that are there now. You know, to take risks. To, I'd, yeah, I'd love to uh, still be telling those stories, frankly. It's brilliant. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken in your career? Oh, um, blimey. Biggest risk I've ever taken in my career? I guess jumping from TBWA to Widens was a risk at the time. Uh, Widens wasn't, <clears throat> I don't think it, uh, it was a particularly great place back then. It had gone through a lot of problems and we were very happy at TBWA. Um, and then, you know, the, the latest jump, I think it's when you jump jobs. We, we always tr try, we never, we always try and move jobs um, when we're at our happiest. Um, so when you've picked. Huh? When you feel you've peaked at the agency, yeah, I think it, 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 if you're if you're happy, that's a great time to leave a job. If you if you're not happy, you, you're forced into making decisions that you, maybe you don't want to make. And you know, we was very comfortable at TBWA, and we was very comfortable at Widens. And I think, you know, when you, I'm certainly not comfortable at the moment, so <laughs> you know, I think you need that bit of panic and <laughs> yeah, your taste. Yeah. So I don't know. What was the question? <laughs> What's the biggest risk you've ever taken in your yeah, career? It's for jumping it, jobs? It's, jump, it's, it's when you've jumped jobs a couple of times, yeah. I'd say. What's your favourite advertising campaign of all time? Oh, someone asked me that, so I know the answer. Um, it's an obvious one um, for Mash, Get, Smash, the, <laughs> the, the Mash, uh, Smash Martians. I just totally remember it from when I was a kid, and, and um, you know, it's beautifully done. and, and who was responsible for that? Well, it was Webster, wasn't it? It's like one of John Webster's ones, you know. Seems to have done all the brilliant ones, doesn't he? I love that. I remember it so vividly from when I was a kid. I really do. And I, I remember thinking at the time <coughs> that, wow, these little things that interrupt the thing that I want to be watching are actually, can be quite special. So that always springs to mind. Okay, let's move on to a quick fire round. Yeah. FWA or NMA? Excuse me? <laughs> Right, that's your answer. <laughs> can can lion or DNA D pencil? Well, that's a difficult one. I'm sorry, but it's changing, isn't it? I mean, you know, they're both great things to have, but I think one's in the ascendancy, and maybe one, you know, the perception is it's in decline. I, I grew up thinking a DNA D pencil was the, the number one thing you could ever win. Yeah. Digital design or graphic design? Uh, well, I'm not sure they're mutually exclusive, are they? You're still asking me to pick. <laughs> uh, digital design. Creatives or suits? Oh, that's massively unfair. Uh, <laughs> uh, depends who they are, don't they? I mean, obviously creatives. Creatives run the show, don't they? Apple. They're the ones that think of the ideas. Ideas are our business. Apple or Android? Android. Degree or no degree? No degree. <laughs> Web or mobile? Well, I mean, they're exactly the same anyway, aren't they? Do I have to pick? No, not picking. They're the same. Independent agencies or networked agencies? 
Huawei. We are like Huawei. <laughs> are we independent on networks? <laughs> um, what a fun question. I don't know. Depends. <laughs> independent. Okay. Outsource production or on site production? Uh, you know, outsource most of the time. I'm sure they can do a better job at most things, but yeah. Miami Ad School or Hyper Island? Uh, well, I've seen great people come out of both, you know. <laughs> you want me to pick Hyper Island? <laughs> you know? Watford or Bucks? Aren't they, aren't they the same place? <laughs> Is that, are they different places? I yeah. thought, oh, I thought it became Bucks. Again, like this, Watford's got this amazing history, hasn't it? So I'll say Watford. I don't know. And lastly, Don Draper or Roger Sterling? Oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> Are you I not a Mad Men fan? A what? Mad Men fan? Oh, I've never watched it. Sorry. Oh. Is that Mad Men? I have yeah, heard it's, it's Mad brilliant. Men. I, I have heard it's great. I haven't. I think I'll get the box set and, and watch it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks very much. Oh.